hello everyone welcome to meta care so in this video we will see a quick trick to find out hybridization of central atoms so we'll check hybridization so let us consider uh, ch4 first so here we have to find out the hybridization of carbon central atom so first first we have to check the steric number okay so steric number is sigma bond and lone pair so number of sigma bond and lone pair is the steric number and you know according to the steric number we can find out the hybridization so here ch4 the central atom we have four uh, valence electrons so one two three four and hydrogen will form a sigma bond with carbon so here it will form a single bond so one two three four so how many sigma bonds we have here one two three four four sigma bonds so the hybridization of uh, carbon will be sp3 so a straight number is four so it will be sp3 now consider another example icl3 so here iodine is a central atom so it will form three sigma bond with chlorine so how many uh, valence electrons are there seven one two three four five six seven so now chlorine will form a single bond so it will form three sigma bond with chlorine now how many pairs we have two so these are our bond pairs and this is lone pairs so total steric number here we have three sigma bonds two lone pair five okay so here the hybridization will be sp 3d now consider xcf4 xcf4 in this case also see genon we have how many electrons 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 fluorine will form sigma bonds 4 fluorine will form 4 sigma bonds 1 2 3 4 now how many pairs we have lone pairs 2 so we have 2 lone pairs and 4 sigma bonds so straight number will be 6 so the hybridization here will be sp3 d2 now consider some uh, other examples where divalent atoms are present in the system so for example if we consider xco3 what is the hybridization of genon in this case so where we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 electrons and you know oxygen will form a double bond okay so oxygen will form double bond 1 2 3 oxygen will form three double bonds and out of this uh, double bonds one is sigma one is pi so how many sigma bonds one two three three sigma bonds and one lone pair so straight number will be four so the hybridization will be sp3 okay similarly similarly if we consider uh, sf4 okay sf4 so sulfur it will have six one two three four five six electrons so fluorine will form sigma bonds so one bond two bond three bond four bond four sigma bonds and one lone pair so here will be four sigma bonds and one lone pair straight number will be five so the hybridization will be sp3 sp3 d okay again if we consider sof4 sof4 in that case also we can find out the hybridization in the same way so sulfur will form one two three four five six six electrons valence electrons are there four fluorine will form four sigma bonds and oxygen will form a double bond for oxygen we have to consider only one sigma and another one pi so how many sigma bonds one two three four five five sigma bonds we have so the hybridization here will be sp3d same hybridization similarly we can find hybridization of any uh, central atoms uh, in p block elements okay so thank you very much for watching this video Please do subscribe and like this channel. Thank you.